How's it going folks? Jake Ford here with Cunis RV Green Bay. Here to talk to you today about the Jayco J Flight 33 RBTS. Now this coach here is uh, just under 38 feet long in total length, tip of the tongue to the back of the bumper. Uh, weighs in at about 8,600 pounds, triple slides. This thing has two slides on this side of the coach and another slide on the other side of the coach. Uh, two slides right in the living room uh, to give you ample amount of space, nice kitchen island, the whole smash, and then a pretty awesome rear bunkhouse. Uh, this coach here is great for destination spots, meaning if you're if you're gonna go put something at a permanent site, or you know you're gonna leave something up north, you know up in the UP for your for your land up there, it's a great camper for that. Also, if you got a good sized truck, uh, it is on the top end a half ton towable, uh, but it can still be done uh, depending on what you what you're pulling it with. Um, you know, obviously three quarter ton would be good. Half ton can do it. Uh, Jayco. Let's go with that right away. Jayco has some pretty awesome standards that come with their coaches. First off, we got the Magnetrust roof. You got a few thousand pounds worth of uh, weight capability on the roof of this. So you want to get up there with a couple buddies, uh, get a good view of something? Hell yeah, get up there. Um, over on the sides here, we got indicator light here, indicator light on the other side. These have prep built into them for a camera system. Now, Jayco doesn't want to assume that you want a $1,500 camera system in their camper, but they also don't want you drilling any holes in it if you do want that stuff. So they give you the prep work on this side, on the opposite side right here on this indicator light, and then another one on the very back of the coach. Now these cameras are on all the time, not just when you're in reverse. So uh, when you're changing lanes in the interstate or whatever, and you need to see what's next to you or behind you, you can see everything the whole time. Uh, another standard that comes with Jayco's, fully integrated A-frame. So instead of just taking the chassis and just stacking it right on top of the A-frame, welding around it, they slip the, or the, uh, the chassis and slide the A-frame inside there and weld around it, make it a nice even toe there for you. Also, and another amazing feature, tires. Tires on every Jayco, a standard Goodyear tire. With this particular model, you're gonna get the Goodyear Endurance tires, which uh, have an awesome warranty with them, and then also an 87 mile an hour speed rating. So when you're hauling down the highway, don't worry about it. Uh, you got awesome tires there to take care of you. All right, folks. We're on the door side of the camper, the camp side of the camper here. Uh, on the back side, we've got the outdoor kitchen. Lots of counter space. Uh, we've got a little refrigerator out here to keep your adult juice boxes outside. Couple of cabinets with struts. That's another awesome thing that you're gonna find in almost every Jayco product. Anytime that you've got a door that goes upward like this, you're always gonna get a nice little strut there. You know, obviously you got something in your hand probably when you're going to put it up there. So you don't need one hand holding this up while you're trying to do that. Both hands, you're good to go. Also, screwed and glued cabinets come standard on all Jayco products. Little sink outside with hot and cold settings. Little drawer to keep your utensils. Very strong drawer down here. And right underneath here, you'll have a quick LP connect for your favorite grill. Um, really any kind of any kind of style that you want to use, whether it's a Blackstone or your Big Coleman, whatever it is. Uh, as you can tell, there is the little slide right here on the front side of the camp. Just a little guy, not too big. This is where we're going to keep uh, the refrigerator and the the, uh, the oven and stove top will be on this guy here. Welcome to the inside of the 33 RBTS Jayco J Flight. In the living room kitchen area here, uh, right in the center of the camper, we've got two opposing slides. You got dualies right in here. You got one slide over on the on the non camp side that's got your dinette and reclining theater seating. On this side here, you've got your slide that's got your three burner cooktop, oven, microwave. Right here, we got the 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. By removing all of the gas components, you get two and a half extra cubic feet of space deep into the coach. For people who aren't planning on boondocking it, going to the back 80 acres of Uncle Jerry's land, you don't need those gas features. If you're going to you know, the local campground, which is where you're gonna be plugged into something, it doesn't matter you're gonna have power the whole time. So that's all you need. This thing runs on 12 volt. So just the smallest amount of power will keep this thing running for as long as you need it. Uh, over next to the, the, next to the refrigerator, we got a pretty deep closet here. I can reach all the way in there. Um, this is gonna have a motion sensing light in it as well. Back behind me, we got uh, a little bar back here. Uh, I would call this a coffee bar. My girlfriend might call this a margarita bar back here. But uh, enough space back here, you can put a crock pot, uh, coffee. Um, you got plenty of cabinet space up here. Um, 
lots of storage in this camper more doors underneath this guy uh, over here we've got our uh, control panel, our thermostat right here for the air conditioning and heat uh, and then also a slide control. Uh, right in the middle of this room you're going to find the nice island. An island is a great spot also for prep and food and all of that uh, but also it's, it's a great spot to you know have conversation with friends and all. Uh, also while we're sitting here this is the door that goes straight back to the bunkhouse. I know it's probably a little dark for you folks there uh, but we'll uh, we'll get in there in just a little bit here so you guys can see what's going on there. Um, uh, back the other way behind you guys would be the bathroom and the bedroom. We'll get you turned around also and we'll be able to see what's going on back there. But uh, for now we'll see the other side of the living room kitchen area. Uh, looking at the living room side of everything right now. So over here we've got our dinette. Uh, this table is easily movable. It slides right out. It's not doesn't have those posts that go on the ground. Uh, so if you wanted to bring this thing outside because you guys are going to spend the day outside, you're going to, you know, a chili cook off and you need some more extra space out there, bring the table out there. It's uh, it's totally foldable whatever, wherever you need it to be. Uh, it also drops down and creates another bed right here as well. Um, you got LED lighting throughout the whole coach. Like I had mentioned outside when we were looking at the outdoor kitchen, you do get every one of these cabinet doors that lift straight up is always going to have a strut with it when it comes to Jayco. Um, right here we've got the theater seating. Now this is a Stacy Stewart theater seating, very soft material here. You got a little bit of rip cord on the outside thigh of each seat here. Helps you recline. Oh, yeah. After a couple beers, I could definitely take a nap right here. Well, oh, anyway, um, uh, right across from here, you've also got the TV backer over here. Um, you could put what looks to be about a maybe a 40, uh, 38 inch uh, right about there. And you can mount it right to the wall. Uh, right underneath it, you've also got your uh, Bluetooth stereo. Speakers inside, speakers outside. That way, when the little peanut's watching uh, Frozen in here, you can jam out to that outside also. Oh, yeah. Um, up here we got some cabinets, keep all your movies and goodies up there. We got some more cabinets underneath here. Jayco's are always known for having a tremendous amount of storage. You got storage underneath the, the dinette as well, I forgot to mention that. Um, the little cup holders in this whole guy right here, little spot for the remote and all that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the living room kitchen area. Um, next we'll get you turned around to the back of the coach, we'll check out that bunkhouse and then we'll check out mom and dad's room. All right, folks, uh, sorry for being so dark in here, but uh, you know, the sun's not really cooperating with us right now to let in all the light. Um, but here we do have a four bunk system here in the back section of the coach. There is a slide here on the non-door side of things. Uh, we do have a couple cabinet doors as you walk in. Um, each one of these bunks is going to have a 300 pound weight rating on it or better. The bottom bunk on the slide side of things is going to be a smaller dinette. Uh, so if it's a rainy, poopy day outside, you know, kids can go back, come back here, play a little Monopoly or something, a little bit of color and something like that. But then it also drops down to a bed if and when it's needed. Uh, the top bunk, a uh, couple little clips, bang. She's already clipped in. She's ready to go. That way you got plenty of space to sit down right here. And then when it's time to sleep, hit the little tab, pops right down. On the other campsite here, we've got a couple of drawers and also a bed here and a bed up top. Uh, behind me here, we've also got another TV backer here, a couple of cabinet doors above and a couple of cabinet doors below. Uh, in this camper, something you're not going to find is carpet. You know, why bring a vacuum cleaner with you when you just bring the, just bring the broom? Every one of these are the linoleum style slide floor, so that way you can just sweep everything straight out. No big deals there. Um, that's pretty much it for the bunkhouse area. Um, Let's get you turned around, and I'll probably get behind the camera this time, and then kind of Morgan Freeman style narrate everything up in the bed, the bedroom and the bathroom for you guys. Okay, folks, headed up towards the bedroom in the front. Got a queen size mattress up front. Comes with a pretty decent uh, plaid kind of uh, bedspread there. You're gonna have your standard shelves on both sides of the of the bed here. Little hanging closet on this side, and I believe shelves on the other. On top, you're also going to have those three cabinets up top. Underneath the bed, you're going to have a little bit of storage under there, which is going to have a, a connection to the pass-through storage. 
On the sides of the bed, you're gonna have 110 outlets and also a TV backer right up on the wall there. Now a cool thing about that particular TV backer is let's call that one the female end and the one that's connected to the TV, the male end of things. There's another additional female end on the very outside of the camper. So when you want to swap out the TV, just bring it outside to watch the Packers beat up the Bears on Sunday, you can do it real easy. Just pop it off the wall there and bring it right outside. Next, we're going to take a look at the bathroom. In the bathroom here, we got pretty good size countertop with some storage and space underneath. Decent medicine cabinet with some hooks to hang your towels behind it. Good size corner shower. Skylight above. For all you tall folk. And then an awesome toilet. Hear that? Porcelain toilet. Floor vent to keep your feet nice and warm when you gotta go pee in the middle of the night. Turn the paper holder right on the back side of the door like a real camper. All right, folks, uh, just finishing up uh, the walkthrough here on the 33RBTS Jayco J Flight. Uh, a couple last minute things. Uh, when we were in the bedroom, I was talking about the TV backer that's outside. That's gonna be located right here. Right here matches the exact same one on the bedroom. So you literally just pop it right off the wall in the bedroom, walk it right outside, bing bang, clips in right here. You got cable and satellite output at this point. Inputs on the back of the camper. The 110 outlets right here, ready to go. Also, the size of this awning is incredible. It is pert near the length of the camper. Um, you've got speakers outside, um, pass-through storage I had mentioned inside the bedroom area. Well, of course, that's locked. Hang on real quick. Jayco, they give you two different keys here. They give you the standard key that opens your compartment doors and your doors and then your other standard key that just does your outdoor shower. So one of the other great things with Jayco is you've got matching keys, which is nice. You know, you don't have to get, you know, which out of the 57 different keys that this camper come with do I need to use for this door or that door or just my outdoor shower. Um, in here, uh, you're gonna have a huge pass-through storage, um, 50 amp cord for this, uh, for this coach, such a big coach, it's coming with two air conditioners. You're gonna need it. Uh, but you have pass-through storage that goes through the whole coach right here. Another amazing feature, magnets that hold it up. Again, just like with the struts, when you lift open those doors interior, their thought process, you probably got something in your hands. When I'm lugging this thing from the ground, ugh, oh, how awesome. Let me hold this up too at the same time. Magnet, just makes sense. Toss that in there, you're good to go. Uh, at the beginning of this, uh, conversation I talked about the prep on the other side this is the uh, the second prep on the other side of the camper so the, the camera prep you'll be able to see what's going down this whole side of the camper while you're going down the highway um, I think I've covered almost everything to do with uh, Jayco J flight 33 RBTS uh, but if you have any additional questions please don't hesitate to reach out uh, like I said my name is Jake Jake Ford just like the truck I'm the only sales guy up in Green Bay with a beard. Pretty easy to spot. Uh, give us a call, 920-434-2380. Talk to you soon.